Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be analyzing a play. Our husband has gone mad again by Olaro Timi. We are going to be discussing the plot of the play and analyze the significant incident in the play. Uh, the play, Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again, uh, is written by Olaro Timi. And the subject matter in this play revolves around the politics after the independence of Nigeria. The post-independence period was marred with a lot of corruption and looting of treasury in Nigeria. So after independence, writers became... Are disillusioned, dissatisfied, and this brought about post independent disillusionment and uh, disappointment in the leadership of those who were elected at the end of colonial era and at the beginning of the Nigerian Republic. So, as an aftermath of the independence, many writers wrote to ridicule the political abuse of that period in Nigeria. So it was this very corrupt political era when politicians were preoccupied with embezzling national funds that gave birth to the play, Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again. Because the playwright, Ola Rotomi, was really disappointed and dissatisfied with the turnout of event after the colonial rule. Because during the colonial rule in Nigeria, which spanned from around, 19, from around 1818 to uh, 1959, when Nigeria got their independence in 1960, October 1960, before the October 1960, uh, the day of the independence, several Nigerians were hoping that, okay, there is going to be self-government and all our resources are going to be channeled to the development of the country Nigeria. Now that the British colonialists are going away, we are going to govern ourselves. We are going to govern ourselves, govern the govern ourselves, and then it is going to be a good self government. But unfortunately, there was a lot of disappointment, and the disappointment is chronicled in this play. Our husband has gone mad again. So, the play, in the plot of the play. The major character, Major Rahman Teslin Lejo uh, Cabran, is a retired army officer who leaves his successful cocoa business to join partisan politics. Why did he join partisan politics? Because at that time, politicians were very wealthy to the extent that even investors, businessmen, were envious of them. And several people want to join politics. Not that they intentionally want to govern the people, but because a lot of politi politicians are making it by looting the treasury, by taking what belongs to the people and appropriate it to themselves. So, Major Rahman Tasli does this, at this leaving his business to go to politics because, not because he'd love to serve the people, but because of what he is going to gain, he's going to get money and he's going to get fame and he's going to get a lot of political followers. So why serving in the Congo? Lejo Cabran had been married to his eldest brother's wife, which is called Mama Rashida, by his father without his consent because at that time he was on a peacekeeping mission to Congo. And after his elder brother died, his father now married the wife of the elder brother to Major Rahman Lekoja Brown. Though he was not even aware. And note that this period, in the context of this play, there was no mobile telecom. So what happened before uh, Lekoja Brown returned to Nigeria was that the father married the wife of the elder brother who is dead to him and now uh, Lekoja Brown came from Congo to meet his 
new wife, though not new wife because he's already married to the elder brother before. And it was without his consent. So, so this happened two days before his marriage to Lisa. So, an American Catholic nurse, which Le, Le Joker Brown also get married to. So, as Lisa goes to the USA to study medicine, Le Koja Brown leaves for Nigeria to join partisan politics. So, he married to Lisa, and they return to Nigeria to join partisan policy. Why Lisa returns to USA to go and study for medicine? So, in order to win more votes, especially from the women, because he has joined politics, Lejo Cabran has to marry Sikira, the daughter of the president of the Market Women Union. So after the election, Lisa, which he married before joining politics, returned to discover that she is not the only woman in the life of Lejo Cabran. And this really infuriated Lizzie. Or you can call her Lisa. How did she discover? Lisa's plane landed earlier than the usual schedule in Nigeria. So she simply finds Lejo Cabran's father's house and makes it her own. So Lejo Cabran, at that point, is on his way to the airport in order to prevent Lisa knowing that uh, he is married to other three wives, uh, other two wives already. So after living in America for some time, Liz has adopted the Western view of traditional marriage and isn't afraid to chase her husband even after the three wives learned about each other. Now, the two wives did not even know that Lady Cabran have already married to a lady who, who is already westernized, which is Lisa. But they have known now when Lisa returned and began to do western kind of romance with the husband they were really surprised so and it was really shocking so there are many comic incidences during the time when uh lisa returned so most notably the title incident where sikira runs from the house shouting our husband has gone man again oh this is our exit line in that Sikira leaves the marriage once and for all because Lizzie was fomenting trouble and wants to chase all of them away from the marriage. I'm believing that uh, she is the only one to own her husband. So, there Sikira left. Uh, it is isn't long before Mama Rashida also does the same thing. And by the end, Lizzie has obtained her desire. Lady Cabran, all to herself. Lizzie is now Lady Cabran's one and only wife after Rashida and Sikra have been chased away. And it is also important to note that as the play goes on, we understand that Lady Cabran is obviously not as educated as Lizzie the wife who studied in the United States of America. But they have almost equal opportunities in Nigeria because those who join politics have access to a lot of fund. And what do they do with the fund? They appropriate the fund to themselves. So instead of using the fund for the people, they appropriate it for themselves. And also we realize that Lejo Cabran regretted leaving his cocoa business to join politics because the National Liberation Party, in which he contested under, broke down. And he was even sacked and sent away from the party for his high-handedness high and also for anti-party activities. So when he was chased away, he was almost hopeless. 
But you know, as a Nigerian politician who has accrued some certain weight before, he leveraged on the weight that he has uh, he has gathered, he has garnered before. And then for the wife who also an educated person who can also be able to be independent and provide for herself. And then she, uh, Lisa, was able to provide for herself. And as a result of that, Lejo Cabran also uh, was not so overwhelmed by being sacked from the party and also not being able to achieve her dream in politics as he wanted. And now he regretted and wanted to go back to his business. And we can say that this play, her uh, husband has gone mad the game, is also a mockery and a satire of the dem of democracy in the, in the in the Nigerian contest, and also a mockery of polygamy in the modern Nigeria, especially where we have modern women who are educated, who want to be westernized, who want to do everything the western way. So now Lizzie does not want any other woman in the life of her husband. And she used force, she used other means, and she was able to get it. She was able to get it. And then at the end of the play, Lejo Cabran regretted joining politics because it was not as all that glitters are not gold. So Lejo Cabran did not get what he wanted. The way he was envying politicians before, seeing them on screen, see them being followed by a lot of people, their praises being sung all over everywhere, their campaign posters everywhere. He wanted such and then wanted to rule also. But at the end, he was not able to rule because the, uh, the, the party even suspended him. So in our subsequent uh, let's say we are going to be discussing extensively the characters in the play. Who is Lisa? Or you can call her Lisa. Or we can call her Lizzie. Who is Rashida? Who is Sirika? Who is Lejo Cabran? Who are other characters in the play? We are going to be discussing all of them extensively. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video in when the video on characterization and the teams are uploaded thank you have a good day